oh, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do my Pan That Palette update for you guys. This year I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Eye Palette in Pillow Talk. I have been using this since January 1st, so we are going to get into this palette, see what I have been playing with, what looks I've been coming up with, and yeah, if you're interested, keep watching. So like I said, I have been using this for a while. Shockingly though, not a lot of progress. So this is currently where I'm at. Definitely expanded the pan on that shimmer shade, but I have not hit any pans on the rest of the shades. So that is what it's looking like majority of the time what I do and I pulled this out because I have been using this every single day with it. This probably will be the first shadow done but this is Anastasia Beverly Hills Vanilla and I use this all over my eye to set my eye primer and it has been doing a great job. I've been using the e.l.f. eyelid primer. It's like a dollar three dollars at Target so I've been purchasing that with like my Target drop like car, what is it called, drop off, car drop off or whatever when you just pick up your stuff. So I've been using that. Then what I've been doing is going in with you know, one of these shades right here. So either this shade or this shade, using it as my crease. And that's what I've been doing there. Lately, I've been going in, depending on my mood, with one of these two dark shades and putting it right here in my crease down to my outer corner. And then I'll blend all of that out. Then I will go in with this shade all over the lid. Sometimes I will use the purple shade for my outer part. So like today I didn't use the purple shade. I just kind of went in with this kind of orangey shade right there as my crease. Put a little bit of the lighter brown in my outer corner and then that light champagne all over. And that's kind of been my look. I'm pretty surprised that I don't have super big dips going on because that's been literally I've been putting makeup on every single day this month and there's no super big dips going on. Now there is some in the purple so maybe next month I will have that hit but nothing else. But you know what's interesting? I'm not upset about it. So that sometimes when I do project pans I hit pan and things super quick. I feel like when I use the Lorac Pro palettes I was going through and flying through some of those shades, some of the Too Faced shades, flying through Anastasia Beverly Hills shades, flying through. This one, I don't know, it's probably how they're packed or how pigmented they are, but I have not been needing to use as much shadow and they haven't been finishing up as much as before. So I am really happy about it to be honest with you. This is an expensive palette and I feel like I'm getting really good use out of it. I'm using kind of the same colors over and over which kind of gets boring every now and then. I do have other eyeshadow palettes to kind of pan and do but this year I'm pretty happy with how I have been using this and how long it's been lasting for me. What I think though I'm going to be doing towards what is this May probably continuing that look but I like to add blues in a lot to my eyeshadow look. So let's look, see what eyeshadow palettes I do still have. I'm thinking for May, pulling out this palette. Now this was a limited edition, like seasonal special kind of BH Cosmetics palette. This is the weekend festival. And if you've been following me for a long time, you guys know I pull this baby out for when I go on vacations. And that's definitely Around this time of year, I don't think I'm going on any vacations in May, but I'll definitely be reaching for these shades to combine with the Charlotte Tilbury one in the summertime. Just really love using the blues, the bright golds, things like that. I think this would be really good to pair with this palette, especially since I am running out of that shimmery shade right there. This has some other ones like this. Trixie color which is gorgeous so using shades like that I think might enhance this palette since the majority of those shades are matte shades I think this will be something fun and different to pair with it here's another shade that I use a lot in the summertime so I'm thinking of for May June July adding this with my Charlotte Toil Very for the next couple months. So I will keep you guys updated with those palettes as we go forward. But let me know if you guys have been panning your palette 
this year have you finished a couple of the shades definitely think next month I should be able to finish that shade and maybe hit pan in the purple shade we'll see as I continue to play with the BH cosmetics palettes because I know I'm going to be probably reaching for that a whole lot more just as we get into the fun summer months but yeah I just wanted to update you guys on where I'm at with those and I'll talk to you in my next one bye Stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am It's like I'm wasted And I won't waste it And I